Hey, what's up, everybody? Rob Cohey here. Welcome to part nine, joints part due, uh, and or standard fasteners, whatever we want to call it. Um, so in my folder that I've been using for this project, I have a folder called Purchase Parts, and I've uploaded a bunch of just step files and stuff into Purchase Parts. But there is a fastener out there that I don't have, and I'm going to grab that from the McMaster Car Catalog right inside of Fusion here. So I've created a new document, and I've navigated over to the washer that I want and it places a local component. You can see in the browser that it's a local component in this document. Okay, so I'm going to grab here a socketed cap screw too and, and try this yourself. It's it's pretty click intensive, but you know, it's it's very self-intuitive. I mean, it's you find the one you want, you find the length, you find the, the actual part number, the McMaster car part number. You click on it and then you scroll down to the bottom and you'll grab your, your file. Now, since I created a bunch of local components in this assembly, I'm going to want to export these, okay? So that I can insert them into not just the design I'm working on, but any design going forward. So I'll right click, I'll go down to export, give it a name, and notice that it, at the top it says save to a project in the cloud. Okay, by default, we assume that you want to export to your computer, so that's, the save to a project in the cloud isn't selected, okay? Um, we can debate as to whether or not it should be selected or not all day long, I suppose. But make sure you select that, you know where it's going, and it's going to save those two local components now as just kind of now in my purchase part library. Okay? So handy tool, really great stuff on the McMaster catalog. Go out and grab it. Don't, don't feel the need to model it natively. Okay? So I've inserted the washer into my, my pump assembly here and I need eight of them, okay? Rather than inserting it eight times, I can just use copy and paste, okay? So I've got a Mac, um, yeah, I'm one of those guys. Um, but here you just hit Command C to copy, and then now I just, I'm just going down and slapping Command V, Command V, Command V, moving them in place before I go through and position them with joints. Right, we talked about this in the previous video. Don't use the move command. Use joints. Okay. Um, you don't have to establish motion here because you're just determining position with the joint command. All right. Now, this is typically what you wouldn't see in a demo of some sort coming from us. Um, placing fasteners isn't sexy, um, but it's necessary work, right? Um, so there we go. I've got the washers in place. I've got the first eight. Now, I was extremely inefficient in my control C, control V last time. Let's be more efficient here. Let's select all, control C, control V, use the move and copy to position more than where they need to be, and I can go through the process of adding the joints now to each of these and putting them in position where they belong. But, you know, you can do multiple selects. So in the previous example, when I hit paste eight times and move them eight times, um, I get a little smarter uh, as I go along in this video, you'll see, um, when I place the fasteners. And you don't have to, um, like I said, you don't have to insert them individually. Um, it's, it's just something that I was doing because I wasn't thinking. So in the next insert here, like I said, I get a little smarter. So I'm going to go ahead and insert this into the... Uh, the design, um, position it where I want. Now, the uh, talk about this in the previous video too. Your first move when you insert is free. So you can position it. I like to position these things when I put them in so that I do less rotating around. I don't know, it's just, I suppose it's just me. Um, but rather than paste this eight times like I did before, <laughs> like I said, I get a little smarter. Um, so I'm gonna select the two, copy and paste. I'm gonna select the four, copy and paste. OCD doesn't allow me not to have even spacing. I'm, I'm sure you all are with me on that. Um, so now I'll select the four, copy and paste the four. See, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Um, I'm that old dog in this context. So I'll place the joints. Um, again, not, you know, this isn't sexy work, right? It, but it you have, you have to do it. Um, so here we go. We're placing all the fasteners just using the... Um, I'm just using the rigid joint, 
Can I put a revolute joint in there? Yeah, technically it revolves in there, but I'm not going to animate the, the, these revolving. I don't need to do that. Okay. Um, and again, move over to the other side, copy, paste. Um, it's getting to be a redundant uh, example. So let's just fast forward <laughs> and um, finish this thing off. Now in the next video, um, I've taken all the time to place all the components. Everything's where it needs to be. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and go into the animation workspace and disassemble number five here. Hopefully you guys got the movie reference. If you didn't, you're all way too young. Yes. Yes, it's short circuit. Well done. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and place this last, uh, last fastener and we're good to go. So stay tuned for the next one. Uh, I'll probably knock that out of, uh, here in a couple days. Um, appreciate everybody's comments and feedback. Um, hopefully you're, you're picking a few things up from each of these, having a good time along the way. Um, we'll see you next time.